My first encounter with um, esotericism was through art, and I think that's true for many people. I think art communicates in a way which is very direct, and it communicates to the soul, if you like. And for many years I've thought about perhaps having a show of contemporary artists who are working with esoteric ideas, and I may just been born out of that. We had an, uh, a show last year uh, which was very successful, very well attended, and one of the things which came out of that show was uh, a request from people who came uh, to have something more expansive, something a little bit more ambitious. And the show we're having this year, Travelling with Unfamiliar Spirits, is the result of that. We have, for example, Shannon Taggart, who's doing some extraordinary work with spiritualists worldwide and is uh, capturing um, the very moment of spirit possession. And then we have someone like Agostino Arrabeni, who is uh, a far more traditional artist, and he is capturing uh, strong emotions and sentiments that he experiences when uh, coming into contact with these spirit forms. I think when you are looking to curate a show like this, you're presented with some interesting challenges, primarily because as a field it's really not been properly explored from an academic point of view. The way we've decided to approach it is very broad and the categories that we've chosen aren't necessarily mutually exclusive. But I think that it, we hope that it sort of provides an aid for the uh, visitor to uh, approach the works in a way which sort of makes sense. And we divide it into three categories. And the first is cultural, which is the sense that those spirits were actually which we all share, either as gods uh, or in other forms. Uh, the next would be um, spatial, which are gods which are specific to a particular place, spirits which are uh, specific to a particular place. And finally, personal, which are those spirit forms which are unique to us, if you like. Um, they may have a unique name, or we have a, may have a particular relationship with them, which no other, no other person may have. Steffi Grant has kindly uh, agreed to lend Austin Spare's Black Eagle to, for the show, for the duration of the show. And Black Eagle, as people who follow Spare's work will know, um, was his spirit guide and one of the most um, long standing uh, sources of inspiration for him throughout his life. And we're incredibly grateful that we have this for the duration of the show. But more than that, um, we are also exhibiting Alistair Crowley's Lamb Portrait. and we are exhibiting it for one day only on the day following our day of lectures at the Warburg Institute and it promises to be an extremely special occasion.